A warm welcome to all the learners. I am Dr. Reena Raj, Department of Commerce, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science for Women, Hosur. Welcome to a new episode on the topic Introduction to Feasibility Study by Entrepreneurs. Many a times, the entrepreneurs makes the mistake of jumping into a new venture without making an in-depth study of whether his new business would be successful in future. They invest a lot of capital and other resources, but end up with a decline in sales and no demand for the product, and eventually running into losses. On the other hand, those entrepreneurs who spend a lot of time on conducting a feasibility study by identifying the potential customers, discussing with them the needs of the customers, identifying the competitors, finding out how much resources would be required, how much will it cost him to produce a product, etc., would be able to see a steady growth in their venture. So let's understand what is feasibility study. It is a study made by the entrepreneurs to find out whether his business idea can be practically implemented. Finding a great business idea is only a first step. Feasibility study helps him to understand the market, the customers, and their product. It can help him understand the barriers to success so that he can develop strategies to overcome them. Let's now understand when is this study generally conducted. It may be done by launching a new business or by adding a, while adding a new product line or while acquiring a rival. A feasibility study assesses the potential for success of the proposed plan or project by defining its expected costs and projected benefits in detail. <clears throat> a feasibility study is an assessment tool that helps to determine if a proposed product, service, or business will be successful. Let's now see what are the types of feasibility study to be under undertaken by the entrepreneurs. Marketing feasibility, financial and economic feasibility, technical feasibility, managerial feasibility, and legal feasibility. Let's understand them one by one. Marketing feasibility. Marketing feasibility is a study that identifies the success of a product into a particular market. This is very important for any entrepreneur. You may have the best business plan with lot of potential to earn good profits with less cost, or you may, have, you may be an entrepreneur trying to penetrate into a new market but if you are not prepared to face the market or you are entering into a market that's not healthy, that's not able to accept new players, then it really does not matter how strong your business plan is. In market feasibility, the entrepreneur examines the target market, customer demand, competition, and market trends to assess whether there is a demand for the proposed product or service. Second, Financial and economic feasibility. Before an entrepreneur decides whether or not to invest into an idea, they might want to know the probability of receiving high returns on the investment. This involves estimating the cost associated with initiating and operating the business as well as projecting the expected revenue. Factors such as startup cost, operating cost, and cash flow projections must be carefully considered here. Third, managerial feasibility. Once you have checked that the product is worth pursuing in terms of wealth generation, now the entrepreneur has to assess whether the people in the team have the ability to do what they have proposed to do. It typically examines the organizational structure, management team capabilities, and resources needed to implement the plan successfully. The study aims to identify potential management challenges and opportunities, and it plays a crucial role in decision-making processes related to new ventures or strategic initiatives. Fourth, technical feasibility. Next, the entrepreneur proceeds to check whether the product is achievable in terms of technology. It is the formal process of assessing whether it is technically possible to manufacture a product or service. 
Before launching a new offering or taking up a client project, it is essential to plan and prepare for every step of the operation. Technical feasibility helps determine the efficacy of the proposed plan by analyzing the process, including tools, technology, material, labor, and logistics. The last and the fifth one is the legal feasibility. An entrepreneur has to ascertain the legality of his business idea. A legal feasibility assessment is a review of a proposed project to determine if it is legally permissible and compliant with the relevant laws, regulations, and policies. It also involves checking a restructuring plan for potential legal issues and preparing a plan for implementation. Hence, he should be aware of the various laws which are applicable to his business. Such laws may vary from industry to industry. For example, if the product is chemical, then he has to get clearance from the Pollution Control Board and Environment Clearance under Environment Protection Act. Protection under Patent Rights and Trademark Act have to be obtained. The procedure for the disposal of waste material has to be adhered to by the entrepreneur. And if the business is trading in nature, he has to follow the Shops and Establishment Act. In addition, he should have the working knowledge of the basic business laws governing factories, taxation, and companies. Let's now take up a small quiz. Hope you got it right. Hope you have understood the different types of feasibility study to be undertaken by the entrepreneurs before practically starting their venture. We will see the feasibility study in detail in another video. Until then, happy learning. Thank you.